Journaling can be a great way to compose your thoughts, to think more clearly, and to find out who you really are and what you really believe. So in this video, I'm gonna show you eight different ways to journal like a philosopher. So the first way to journal like a philosopher is to keep a pocket journal. <clears throat> you never know when a good idea is gonna strike you. And so it's always a good idea to have a pocket journal with you in your pocket, in your purse, in your bag, wherever. The idea of a pocket journal is just a place to keep your thoughts as they pop up. If you're anything like me, then your ideas stay in your mind and it's hard for you to think about anything else. You don't want to lose that idea, right? Pocket journal is great for that. So I keep this on me at all times, either in my breast pocket, if I'm wearing a coat, in my back pocket, my front pocket, wherever. And I collect my ideas in here, like ideas for YouTube videos. This here is a Lecterm 1917, and I just have it with a leather cover that I got from Etsy. It's got this elastic band here, and the pen can go right in the side. Now, this is the first time I started using the Lecterm, but I've been using these Moleskines, these Moleskins, for years and years and years and years, right? So I've got a lot of them. I've been doing it for a long time, and it's been immensely beneficial to me. I used to use these saddleback leather covers for my moleskins but as i switch to the lectrum 1917 they don't fit so no problem you know i'm not here trying to hawk a certain leather product but i do like the lectrum 1917 because it has page numbers and it's got two page holders the next way to journal like a philosopher is to keep a deep writing or deep thinking journal now again this is a lectrum 1917 and i've got it here in my saddleback Moleskine cover. These are brand new. You don't have to buy all the leather. I just like adorning my journals in something. It helps me take them more seriously. It helps me feel like a philosopher. Now, feeling like a philosopher is not everything, but if it helps you write, if it helps you do philosophy, then do it. So this is my deep thoughts journal, my deep writing journal. And I mean that in the technical sense of like the Cal Newport deep work, right? So this is me like sitting down in a coffee shop or at my table with a cup of coffee, it's always with coffee, and thinking through some like deep ideas. So this is where I actually do a lot of my philosophy work. I'm a student in philosophy, <clears throat> and this is where I sit down to think rigorously, to critique myself, to go hard. So way number two is keep a deep thoughts journal where you're doing the hard work of thinking through philosophical ideas. A third way to journal or take notes like a philosopher is my philosophical notes journal. Now this is where I take class notes. So when my professors are lecturing, I keep all the notes in here. And you guys can do this even if you're not a graduate student in philosophy. Just go to YouTube, check out my podcast, get yourself a, this is a moleskin, moleskin A, whatever. This is a moleskin journal. And again, I told you, I keep my stuff in leather. This is another Saddleback. Saddleback, holler at your boy. Like, let's get some promotion going. Somebody tag Saddleback in this so they'll send me these for free. I spent way too much money on this stuff. <clears throat> but again, I like to adorn it. I like it to be beautiful. So I will write in it. it. Anything to help me write, that's cool with me. So here I take all my philosophical notes. My professors, my lectures, when I'm watching a YouTube video on philosophy, I will take notes in here, and then I can go over later. I can go over it before bed. I can go up before I do a talk, before I sit down to write. I can use this to get the juices flowing. Okay, the fourth way to journal like a philosopher is to get an actual journal and write like a philosopher. This is like in the classical sense of philosophy, where you are coming up with pithy statements, gnomic statements, where you're coming up with your own proverbs. I force myself not to get analytic, not to get too rigorous, but to think of a pithy statement that I would want to pass on to my son. Something like that, where you're thinking like the book of Proverbs, think of Pascal's Pensees, think of Marcus Aurelius's The Meditations. And look, if you don't want anyone to, to see these, like, I don't know, burn it when you're done, but this could be a really cool way to pass on family Proverbs, family wisdom to your sons. This is a beautiful rogue journal. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to hawk anything, but look at how beautiful that looks. That makes you want to write in it. And I tell myself before bed, you owe yourself some philosophy. You owe it to yourself. Keep writing in this. So this is like Parker's book of Proverbs. A fifth way to journal like a philosopher is to write philosophy. Now, I already showed you the deep work, deep thinking 
journal. That one is for, you know, scratching and scribbling and thinking through and crossing out and doing the hard work. This is where I write all of my philosophy papers. So this one will be much more detailed. I'll put a lot of footnotes in here. This is helping me write my papers. So you guys can do this as well. Even if you're not in school, you can write philosophy. Get yourself a Substack or a WordPress and think hard. Think through the quotes that you want to use. Think through the different sources. Think through your arguments. This is where I do all my philosophical work. And again, this is a Saddleback. This, you can't get these anymore. This is the old school version. And some Moleskine. So this is actually where like, I write philosophy papers. I will write them in here and then I will go back and do them in Microsoft Word or wherever. A sixth way to journal like a philosopher is to keep a log of soliloquies. This is where like I'm talking to myself. This is where I'm trying to figure out who I am. Maybe it's more psychology or something, but this is a dialogue with yourself. So what I do in here is I will think of something that's characteristic of me and I'll ask myself, why do I like that? Why am I like that? Why do I aspire to be that type of thing? And these are no outside sources. I'm not writing anything except my own thoughts here. I'm trying to figure out who I am. I'm trying to examine my life. The unexamined life is not worth living. And so I have a book of soliloquies where I sit down and try to get to know myself. So I have an entry in here like, why do I love villains in movies so much? I really love villains. And I'm trying to figure out, is that a character flaw? What's the deal? So that's another way you can use a journal, take notes, whatever, like a philosopher, a book of soliloquies. A seventh way to journal like a philosopher is to keep a journal of philosophical poetry. Now, I am very simplistic. I like all my poems to rhyme, but I'll write poems about the trolley problem, about logic, about the existence of God, about apologetics. I like to write poems. I like them to be sing-songy, Shel Silverstein type style. You might be deeper than me, but I think something that philosophers miss out on today is writing poems. That's part of what it means to be a philosophical sage is to give a wise statement, to give a cool poem, to give a deep thought that makes people think. So another way to journal like a philosopher is to keep a book of philosophical poetry. And the eighth way to journal like a philosopher is to keep an office hours notebook or journal. This is a journal where I'll keep notes from my discussions with philosophers and theologians. Now I do this on my podcast, but if I go into someone's office hours or I meet them on Zoom or whatever, and I'm asking them about their ideas, I want to take notes about that. And this is where I keep my own ideas, ideas that I want to ask them, questions that I have for them. I'll write them down, I'll circle, I'll try to help myself figure it out. And then from here, I can take new notes back in the other journals to metabolize what they've said. Now, if you're not in school and you don't have regular access to philosophers, that's okay. A lot of these people are really accessible and maybe they'll hop on a Zoom call with you or maybe they will respond to your emails. And so I have a office hours journal where I'm keeping track of the philosophical conversations I have in order to help myself learn. I can look back and to help myself ask them the questions that I have for them. So that's it, folks. That's eight ways to journal or keep notes like a philosopher. I'm still a graduate student myself. I'm just a philosopher on the way. I'm not claiming to have all the answers. If you guys have another way to journal like a philosopher, let me know, leave me a comment. I wanna know. Obviously, I like doing it. Perhaps I compartmentalize my stuff a little bit too much. You don't have to do that. If you like any of these, then take it. You don't have to put anything in leather. I do because I'm weird. If you guys like this, leave me a like, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a little philosopher thinking emoji. And check out the rest of the channel to find in-depth podcast episodes with some of the leading philosophers and theologians.